Greetings, this is Jacob from RoboFlow, here today to talk about the Upload API for RoboFlow. So this video is assumed that you uh, have a little bit of experience using RoboFlow and you've started uploading some data, but maybe now you want to start using the backend to be able to automatically upload images into our platform so you can use your normal RoboFlow functions on these images. So if uh, you haven't added data before, um, this is kind of the general flow of the way you upload data into RoboFlow. So you go here via the front end and you can add images from your uh, local drive. So for example here, we might go in and uh, decide that we want to upload some images from a given data set. So we have, I have this Bernie Sanders data set here um, and I might take one of these images uh, and be able to upload uh, this just via our front end. So uh, normally you're used to seeing this sort of show up here and then you can do uh, finish upload and it goes uh, right into your data set. You choose your splits. Uh, you can put it into training, validation, or test. Uh, and then the images come up and they go into the platform into your data set here. Um, and we can see it uh, via the front end, export it, do everything with our data that we want to. Um, but now uh, for this video, we're going to talk about how you can go through this process actually using the RoboFlow backend APIs um, so you can automate this process. So you don't necessarily have to be uh, uploading every time via our front end. So that's where uh, the RoboFlow upload API comes in. So here, if you take a look at our docs, docs.roboflow.com uh, backslash adding data upload API, you can see the upload API uh, specs here. Uh, so the URL is the api.roboflow.com dataset backslash and then you put your data set and then upload and we'll we'll kind of get a little bit more fine grained into these uh, query parameters as we we work through our example today. Um, and so one of the first ways you can use this is through a uh, bash command. So basically we're just going to be sending a base64 encoded image up into our data set and the way to do that um, through bash, uh, we'll go ahead and jump over into a bash terminal here, is uh, to simply uh, cat the image into a base64 encoded string, pipe that into the upload API with a few parameters, and then it will automatically upload. And um, this is kind of the same process you're going to use in whatever language you're using to interact with this API, and we'll go into some other languages after this. So for example here, we can take a look. I have a data set here of two images. Um, there is uh, EX and there's EX2. Uh, there's a JPEG file and then there's a um, XML file which represents the annotation for that image. So in order to upload this uh, JPEG file here, we can go ahead and run this following command where we first base64 encode uh, this image with this command and then we pipe that into a curl command to post that uh, base64 encoded string up to our RoboFlow API. So that's going to be at api.roboflow.com backslash dataset and then upload API is actually the name of the data set that we're working on. So this is the name of your data set that you want to put up here and then it's backslash upload and then question mark where you put in your query string parameters. So here you're going to put your API key. I've already saved this as a, a, a bash variable so it wouldn't um, show in the video. Um, but you're going to want to put your API key in here and then the split that you want it to go to. One question you might be asking is, okay, well, um, how do I get my API key? So we'll go ahead and jump back over into the RoboFlow platform to see that. If you go to your account over here on um, your account settings and then you go to RoboFlow API under the account tab, you can see here that you have your keys. Um, so you have a publishable key for some of the things that we want you to be able to share publicly. And then you also have your API key here, um, which you can use to uh, for, for secret operations that only you should be doing. So this is where you're going to find your API key. And um, now that we've typed all that out, we can go ahead and uh, actually send this in. So if this works, you'll get a uh, 200 response back uh, with success is true. And then the ID of the image that has been created. So this um, ID is important because it's the image ID that you're going to see uh, when you're looking at a data set, but it also helps you uh, find, um, you know, uh, find images and then also uh, for if you want to annotate this image, which we'll go ahead and walk through that next. So this is the, the um, image that we've uploaded through the API here with that simple command. And now it's already automatically in our data set. We can start doing things in RoboFlow like annotating it and doing some other things with it. So that's, that's all pretty exciting. Now the next thing 
um, that I want to show uh, you in this video is how to upload annotations for your image. So this is currently in, in beta, so we're not actually going to um, run it, but this is something that is available on RoboFlow Pro accounts um, where you can um, actually, uh, basically, you can send your annotations up to annotate your image. So you can do this automatically as well. So this is something that would be useful if you're in an active learning process where you want to be automatically uploading annotations and then automatically uploading the way those things should be annotated. Um, and this can be useful too if you want to be um, programmatically importing uh, large data sets in, into RoboFlow. So um, to go through the way we would do that, um, so we'd maybe first have our uh, XML file. So we'd have, um, this is a Vox, Vox XML um, annotation format, though we do support over 30 annotation formats at RoboFlow. Um, so you can see here, um, this is the uh, annotation format here, um, catted out. So um, again, from Bash, you're going to be uh, catting your your file um, and then piping that into a um, into a request to our uh, to our annotate API. So we would go and uh, cat that XML file. We'd put it in through here to the api.rubblefoot.com backslash data set, upload API, annotate. And then here, this is actually the idea of the image that was created in the last step uh, when you uploaded your image. So it's important to keep track of those IDs as you're uploading and annotating images coming up through here. And then again, you put in your API key. And then the other important thing you need to do is you need to put the name of the file there. This helps us uh, so we know what kind of extension the file is. Um, and so we can uh, know how to automatically parse uh, your annotation as it's coming up into RoboFlow. Um, so that's a quick look on how to upload an image and then upload an annotation into uh, the RoboFlow dashboard. So you can start doing all your other RoboFlow annotations with your or uh, operations with your data. And uh, so um, one other thing I want to show before we conclude this video is if you go to docs.roboflow.com backslash adding data backslash upload API, you'll see here all of the details that we've walked through in this in this tutorial, the types of responses you can get. And then you'll also see here code snippets of how to do this in other languages. So we've gone through here with bash commands, but you can also do the same process in Python with the request library. So you can be using Python to automatically upload your images here. Um, and you can also, um, one important thing that I didn't cover in the bash command is you can be uploading these images via direct URL. So maybe you don't want to have to be pulling an image down from a URL and then uploading it to the RoboFlow servers. You can simply just connect those two with an image URL. Um, so you can do uh, local URL. You can do it in bash. You can do it in Python. You can do it in JavaScript. And then we have other languages here where we're actually just recording responses. So if you want to use this API via another language, just like click one of these links. It will let us know that people are, are trying to use it with these languages. And we'll go ahead and add support to that. And of course, if, if um, your, your request is urgent, you can always reach out to us and let us know that you're trying to use the Upload API. And please let us know of any hurdles you might uh, encounter along the way. Hopefully you found this video informative as you're working through using the RoboFlow Upload API. And thanks so much for listening today. And uh, as always, like and subscribe below, and we'll see you in the next video.